Now, let's get the weekend weather forecast. Of course, still no sign of winter. Incredibly mild for the time of year, apart, of course, from where Rebecca Wood is for us this evening. Rebecca, where on earth are you? Let's see if we, let's see if we can find uh, the weather with Rebecca very shortly. But um, let's, uh, let's recapture some memories now. This is going to bring some memories back if you're of a certain age. Uh, it's nearly 40 years since Duran Duran were formed in Birmingham. Tonight, they are back in the city performing their latest album and some of their classics. Uh, ben Sidwell caught up with some of them a short time ago to find out if the new romantics are st still causing brummy hearts to flutter. You know what, I never thought I'd be saying that I'm actually sharing the stage here on the Genting Arena with Duran Duran, but it is true. Luckily for the thousands of fans coming tonight, I'm not performing. These guys are. It's John and Roger Taylor from the band. Guys, we've got to say, Birmingham, it is always the one, the homecoming gig. It, it must still always be special for you guys, mustn't it? Uh, yeah, it's the most important gig on the, uh, on the tour for me, I've got to say. It's uh, coming home, isn't it? Got family here, friends. Uh, so the heart will be beating a little bit faster tonight, I think, going on. So, And you look out important. there, don't you? You look out there, I imagine, and there are faces that you see every so often, probably when you come back to Birmingham. You yeah, see. I mean, it's gone like that now. I mean, we, we these tours, we don't do them very often, and they're, you know, we see people, you come out and you're like, oh, hey, you know, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that. We, we, we recognise a lot of people in the crowd. The new album... I mean, the success, top five here, top ten in the States. I mean, the number of bands that are still going with pretty much the same lineup from 30, 35 years. You can count them on probably not my hands, but all our hands, I'd imagine. There aren't many, are there, to still be having You're that right. success? Yeah, it's a very uh, exclusive club, I think, isn't it? And uh, I feel very fortunate, really, that we still have an audience. You know, when we started the band, I think we, th we were looking in terms of months or a couple of years, I think, for the, the life span of the band. So to be here 35 years later, I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? You know, we just feel very fortunate, I think. So just for tonight, is it auntie, uncle and cousin and everyone yeah. else? Is, is the guest list almost as big as the sort of ticket buys here tonight? No, but, you know, there's a lot of people that we don't get to see a lot, you know, and they, we, 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 it's sometimes it feels like we, the only time we ever get together is backstage at the Birmingham show, you know, so it, it, it's great. I mean, it's 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 great opportunity to connect. It's getting a bit shorter, because as we're getting older, some oh, of the older folks gosh. are uh, leaving us, yeah. I've got to say. Yeah. So, um, All tickets for other people to buy, no, that's sadly. True. That's true, yeah. sadly. Well, there are a few tickets. I know people are really quick. There are a few tickets tonight. But if you don't catch this show tonight, the guys are also playing in Nottingham next Friday, so that's not far away at all. And there are a few tickets to be had there. But I think there's going to be 10, 12,000 very happy fans here watching Duran Duran tonight. I'm sure that is the case. Ben Sidwell reports.